Good morning, Eclipse Squad. Yes, y'all are getting me like this because um, I'm getting dressed. Today is the retirement ceremony, and um, yeah, I'm baking. This is how this vlog is gonna start. So, y'all, while I'm finishing up my makeup, today is a very, very emotional day and I am not putting on any mascara because I know it's gonna be lots more tears because literally this morning there were tears and me and my husband we just had a very intimate moment um, and this is telling him how wow this is coming to an end and it's coming to an end with um, it's 23 years now on May 23rd it will be 24 and he will be completing his uh, retirement on uh, May 31st May 31st will be the last day and Y'all, I'm just so full of emotion right now because uh, I just remember when it all started. <sighs> I remember when it all started and I remember why he did it. And I remember just the emotion when he first told me that he was going into the army and all of this stuff and it's prompted me that when we come back from the ceremony i am going to do a story time to be attached to this vlog per se because this vlog particularly i just really want it to be about him it's gonna be about him and it's gonna be about me too y'all because when your husband is in the service or military whatever you want to call it you are too and you are a soldier's wife and you know what I told my husband earlier this morning when we just had our little moment I guess I'm trying to get some of mine out before we get to the ceremony actually but I just told him you know I'm not your uh, stereotypical military wife that's not me. Um, I'm not clicky. I don't have a clique or gang of military wives that I hang out with. Um, I met a few. Some uh, were cool. Some just not my flavor. <coughs> Some I may not was their flavor. Um, and I just told him, I said, you know, I never conformed. I never changed who I was to fit in to this military lifestyle and you know you either you like me or you love me or if you don't tough you know that's on you you'd be surprised being friends with me has its advantages and benefits and i just told him i said i'm happy he never wanted me to be like everybody else he accepted me and he loves me for being just me just me y'all and I told him I was like you know when it came to you know going to military events I'm always gonna do stuff always y'all I'm gonna be eclectic Nista even when we are in a military setting okay even and I told him I'm just I'm happy to be on his side sharing this with him because it's been a journey. Like I said, he's never asked me to conform, never tried to force somebody's wife on me. 
y'all know we used to have uh the colonel lived right in the backyard and i just never was that wife i just i keep to myself i mind my own business i can go on social events hang with them roll with them have fun if i don't have fun mm, we just won't do that again yet i told him it has been a real journey the military has took us all over the world we have been to Hawaii being our first duty assignment, to going to Fort Bragg, North Carolina, to then him becoming a recruiter and recruiting out of South Hill, Virginia. And then Mr. Long, he got levied, got orders that's, you know, can't do nothing about that. Uh, and he had to go to Fort Drum, New York for four years and we survived four years of being involuntarily separated because y'all when he was in New York for a drum he got deployed two weeks later after he got there so we survived that then moving to Atlanta Georgia loved it then moving to Valdosta Georgia and now the military has brought us to New Jersey close to New York and my husband brought us here because this is somewhere that I wanted to go. I wanted to be near the fashion capital so that I could do my thing. And I had this burning desire to just, y'all don't know where this new journey finna take us. Maybe we weren't supposed to be in the military before I flourished and before I blossomed. Maybe it was supposed to happen all once he got out. So that you know what? He can flourish and blossom with me and not be attached. You know what I'm saying? So I say all of this to say, welcome to today's vlog. Get your tissue. Get it. Because you're going to need it. It's a celebration, as Mr. Long said. And he was like, you know, he's emotional. He's trying to hold back how I was trying to help him get some of it out, y'all, before, you know, this all starts. And um, I just told him, I was like, they're going to be like, you got a very colorful ass family. Because, yes, y'all, I'm going with my eclectic self. And y'all see I went with sky blue. And, yep, going in now. That's the wife I am. Now, let me put my lashes on. Let me finish getting beautified. And let me find my, my waterproof mascara because, yeah, I need my tissues too, y'all. I'm bringing a box. <laughs> Go and get them. Tap a shawl. Not one. I said, I hope mommy don't get no makeup on you. Girl. Oh. God bless you, Jazz. All right, y'all. This is the preliminary before we get ready to go. And now. It's not that Serious. Jones, gonna say hello. What's up? I'm here to hold my brother down. That's like right. I always do. Like he always do. That's all do. I say. You got a problem with him? <laughs> Smoke coming in the city. <laughs> Smoke coming in the city. <laughs> I feel air. I feel air. Hey, man. Maybe Smile, you found bro. the circuit. You good. You good. You don't hey, feel it? Listen. It's, it's going to be alright. Hi, Tom. Colonel Crook. Right. Say, it's going to be all right. It's going to work itself out. I'm trying to stand up. That was fun. Yeah, I bet. I thought you were selling yeah, it. No. Let me turn the camera on. Which commander places on the position of the senior NCO on the unit. Whether it's a command sergeant major, first sergeant, or the detachment sergeant, the senior NCO sets the example the soldiers will follow. Since the Army's creation by order of the Continental Congress, non-commissioned officers have been integral to every success our Army has achieved. Under the expert hand of the Army's first Inspector General, the duties of the NCO were standardized and the unique history and traditions the American NCO were born. 
Frederick von Steuben and his blue book, or Regulation for Order and Discipline of the Troops in the United States, as it was officially titled, served as a doctrine for the duties of NCOs for the most for most of the Army's first three decades. By the Civil War, NCOs assumed the duties of carrying the flags and regimental colors. In 1840, the Army introduced the distinctive model 1840 NCO sword as an effort to give the NCO added prestige. The sword itself was carried into battle by NCOs through the early 1900s. Though no longer issued equipment, the sword remains a visual reminder of the power, strength, and fidelity of the position it presents. The sword reminds the soldiers of the unit that the senior NCO is responsible for good order and discipline among the troops. It also reminds the senior NCO responsibility to care for the troops. Metal reads. For exceptional material service while dedicating over 20 years to the United States Army, each retiree's patriotism and dedication to duty represent the spirit of an exceptional soldier and a leader who served with the utmost distinction in every assignment. Their performance and professionalism reflect great credit upon themselves, the United States Army Recruiting Command, and the United States Army. Signed, Jeffrey J. Snow, Major General, U.S. Army, Commanding. The United States Army Certificate of Retirement reads, By order of the Chief of Staff, the United States Army, General Mark A. Milley, each retiree has served faithfully and honorably and is retired from the United States Army. Each retiree will also be receiving the Army lapel pen to be worn as a lasting reminder of their honorable and distinguished service to the country.
get in front. Give it up for him before we bring the south. At this time, each retiree spouse will be ushered to the stage to receive the, their spousal awards and a bouquet of flowers from their husband. certificate reads, for dedicated service, each spouse is being presented a certificate of appreciation for service to her spouse's career. Each spouse is also receiving a bouquet of flowers from their husband. have just been extended three more years. <laughs> The United States flag is folded 13 times, with each fold representing a symbol or event relating to the principles of life and commitment of soldiers and veterans. The first fold of our flag is symbolic of life. The second fold is made as a symbol of our belief in eternal life. The third fold is made in honor and remembrance of the veterans departing our ranks who gave a portion of their lives for the defense of our country to attain peace throughout the world. 
The fourfold represents our weaker nature, for as American citizens trusting in God, it is to Him we turn to in times of peace as well as in times of war for His divine guidance. The fifth fold is a tribute to our country, for in the words of Stephen Decatur, our country, in dealing with other countries, may she always be right, but it is still our country, right or wrong. The sixth fold is where our hearts lie. It is with our heart that we pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The seventh fold is for our armed forces, for it is through the armed forces that we protect our country and our flag against all her enemies, whether they be found within or outside the boundaries of our republic. The eighth fold is a tribute to the one who entered in the valley of the shadow of death, that we might see the light of day. The ninth fold is a tribute to womanhood and mothers, for it has been through their faith, their love, loyalty, and devotion that the character of the men and women who have made this country great has been molded. The tenth fold is a tribute to the Father, for he too has given his sons and daughters for the defense of our country since they were first born. The eleventh fold represents the lower portion of the seal of King David and King Solomon and glorifies in the Hebrews' eyes the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The twelfth fold represents an emblem of eternity and glorifies in the Christian's eyes God the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. The thirteenth fold, completing the folding of the flag, places the stars uppermost, reminding us of our nation's motto, In God, we trust. When completely folded and tucked in, the United States flag takes on the appearance of a tri-cornered cocked hat, forever reminding us of the soldiers who served under General George Washington and the sailors and marines who served under Captain John Paul Jones, who were followed by their comrades and shipmates in the armed forces of the United States, preserving for us the rights, privileges, and freedoms we enjoy today. As a soldier, we hold a special appreciation for those who have served a long and distinguished career. It is our hope that the soldiers who have retired today take away an even deeper appreciation of their service to our nation under the colors of the red, white, and blue. We extend our appreciation to them. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Major Robert Rise. Everybody warm enough? Oh. Yeah. All right, so two, two things. I was up there with started first class long, shaking like a leaf, putting his lapel pin on, and I guess the excuse of heat stroke probably didn't probably didn't work, but. Uh, it's a cool thing to be a little bit nervous about. Right? <laughs> I'm stoked for you guys. 20 plus years. Now you get to go on to a new role. It's awesome. So, like I always do with the uh, retirement ceremonies, I like to give a glimpse on what life used to look like for the three gentlemen uh, when they enlisted. So, sort of long, he enlisted in 94? 94. Was anybody <laughs> born after 94? <laughs> so in 94, the number one song on Billboard was Ace to Face the Sign. <laughs> all for one, I swear. That's, all that That's what we got married to, so. And uh, boys to men, I'll make love to you. <laughs> um, it was a different world back then, but that's 1994. Now, the Army is a season. I look in front of me and see 60 plus years of experience, memories, and professionalism. These, many, these men are ready for a change of the season. You have each dedicated over 20 years of your lives to the country's protection, not only for your families, but for the families across America. I will say that with 20 years is a long season, but has prepared you for, the, for all the next chapters in your life. <laughs> Retirement speeches are not meant to be eulogies at a funeral but they should reflect on the good times and the important lessons you have learned in your tenure in the Army. You've all been to places and seen things most men and women will never see in their lives. You will take these experiences and lessons with you as you change seasons so you can continue to mentor and develop those you come across. Season cha seasonal changes in your life are similar to the changes of our regular seasons. You need to prepare. Like today, we did not prepare for 90 degree weather. You will be spending a lot of time with your family, a lot. You are not in the army anymore. Take a breath, relax, and reflect on what you've already accomplished, and enjoy the fruits of your labor. 
with the ones you love. Remember, you would not be where you are right now without them. You are able to sleep in, maybe make breakfast in bed for the wife, and see the kids off to school. Enjoy these moments. You've earned them. The season is changing for you as we all speak. You may not be in the Army, United States Army anymore, but you will always be a soldier and a non-commissioned non officers. Continue to do great things, and God bless. Ladies and gentlemen, Sergeant Major James Edwards. Good afternoon, Mid-Atlantic Battalion. Family, friends, and most of all, retirees. Anybody know this song? Loyalty. Kendrick Lamar. Anybody know this? My song. We got Kenya Moe. I ain't gonna see no bars. Oh, yeah. <laughs> can't do it. <laughs> but this is my song. Alright, hey, first of all, I want to thank everybody for being here. Um, most of you that don't know me who just came to the battalion, I've been gone about two months. So I've been, I've been basically retired for about two months. But for the most part, Sergeant First Class Long, I was, I was a uh, center leader here in the battalion, as well as a master trainer with Sergeant Scott. Um, I thank you guys for being here. All right, I will tell you one thing about me. I'm all about loyalty. Loyalty to my family, loyalty to the Army, loyalty to the leadership, loyalty to anything that I touch. I'm making sure that I put my, my mark on it with everything, everything in me, all right? It's hard, because I don't want to get up here and my, my, my boy Jason <laughs> say be a punk and cry, but hey, listen, <laughs> In the Army, I served 24 years. That's what's going to happen. There, there's always going to be an ending to the story. All right? In 94, who was born? Anybody? Yeah. Ah, I feel old. But guess what? I look good. I'm 44. Y'all can tell I'm 44. That's right. That's right, I look bro. good for my age. That's I'm right. I'm going circles around a lot of y'all in here when it comes to PT. Guaranteed. Anybody want to challenge me? <laughs> <laughs> who got me? You got me? Sorry, right, man. You just got promoted, man. You're good. You got me? Good now. <laughs> uh, but for the most part, it's been it's a bittersweet moment for me. Um, again, it's it's I did it for my family. Again, I came in '94. My firstborn, stand up, Jasmine. She was four months old. That's living proof how long I've been in. She's 24 now. All right. My post 9/11, I went to her. She got her degree. Okay. My 16 year old, stand up, Jada. I just wanted y'all to see her. She's 16, but she don't look like it, right? <laughs> All right. So for the most part, I, I can't complain. I love it. Uh, it's, a, it's a bittersweet moment. I work with some, some great guys in the battalion. Excuse me. Uh oh. Scott. Stop saying <laughs> As well as uh, the army. But when it's your turn to get up here, you'll see how hard it is. It's all right. It's all right. Take your time, right? Take, 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 take. I appreciate it. I love the Army. Love it. All right? So just understand. Stop laughing at me. I see you laughing. <laughs> Stop laughing at me. Just understand, it's, it, for me, it's not an ending, it's, it's an ending to the army, but again, it's another chapter started for me. So some of you may see me again, especially in Jersey City, because I'm gonna be an ROTC instructor, and I'm gonna make sure I take care of you guys, all right? And I'm gonna make sure that these soldiers, well, these students, that's one of the things I gotta get familiar with. Students, their students and not soldiers will uh, understand what the army has to offer you, offer them, all right? Um, other than that, God bless. Again, I thank you, and uh, continue to put people in the army, put them in boots.
and his family on stage for a photo opportunity. Oh, and any friends and family with Star Wars, as well as... You're walking past... Porterfield, come here. Oh, that's my battle. <laughs> Williams, come on. All the center leaders in this battalion, they jump here. Center leader, center leader, they jump here. He was in the same shoes. Now, if you don't want to come take a picture with Star alone, that's okay. You don't have to.
Jasmine girl Khadija, she got bit by a snake last night at her house, walking in the damn dough. And she lived to tell the story, y'all. And she showed us the snake, and the snake was a fat, thick snake that her mama took the sword and chopped up. Yeah. Talk about Khadija. Yeah, Khadija snake <laughs> snake bite. Ah, right, well that messed me up. So y'all, sorry we did not come back yesterday, but last night we all went out for his celebra celebratory. You gonna move the bench, right? It'll mess up your aesthetic. Yeah, it'll mess up the whole aesthetic. Yeah. Celebratory dinner. Fun, look, that's what Rocky used to do. Rocky used to chase squirrels. He ain't setting no squirrels. Fun's ain't time for them. Well, leave me the hell alone. Yeah, he ain't even studying them. Y'all, he got on Rocky's shirt today. And he done turned into Rocky. So Mr. Long got his retiree. Hold up, hold up, let me fix it. Let me, let me fix it. Uh, it we couldn't see all the words. Oh, I'm standing in cracks now, but I gotta self check. Bon, get your ass over here. Come on. You don't look straight. You look kind of crooked. Raise your left hand. Like that. There you go. Oh, yeah. Wait. Pause. You got to see all the words. Now it's straight. All right, big daddy. Okay. Got you it? Want in the front? Yeah. He just want that. Uh, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Greg, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> he does that super cat. Oh, He's superhero. That's your okay. cat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, do it. Cat. Do it. Yeah. Remember your first time on vlogs? Yeah, these guns, baby. These guns. Bond, really? <laughs> what? Yeah, Dad, come on, get me in it. Yeah, I'm the new. I'm oh, the cart full. Oh, he said that's okay. <laughs> you make Dad. <sighs> Bond. He said you troll. Dad. Well, it didn't die, but it's a cart. So. Y'all, this is the end of yesterday's vlog. Come on, come with me so we can close this out right quick. We are so proud of you, Daddy. Okay, he's gonna close it out in the house. Let's go. Oh, I'm sorry, you get it from me. Let me close it out my way. I'll let you do it however you want to do it. Oh, Lord. So, 
mission accomplished today. We got all the eclectic Nista vintage swimwear photograph shot. We probably got what 10 pieces left. We saved some for Devin and successful morning. Very successful for the day after. All the festivities. So I close it up. All right, this is out of the norm for me. So here I go. Um, first of all, I want to thank uh, my beautiful, lovely wife for uh, for always having my back, love and support throughout the 24 years that I've served in the U.S. Army. Um, <clears throat> at the retirement ceremony, I got kind of beside myself, started talking. About a lot of things and I just started talking about a lot of things and uh, didn't realize that um, I left out one of the most important people in my life you know I didn't I didn't really leave her out um, I mentioned something about my daughter Jasmine my daughter Jada and uh, when we got back she talked to me in reference to her saying that I hurt her feelings I love my wife with all my heart that's my ride or die so I felt bad that I got wrapped up around the moment, um, talking about other things, you know, the army experience, um, just other things that was on my mind at the time, a little nervous at the same time. And I forgot <clears throat> to tell the world, so here I am. Not really the world, but the soldiers that were in that room. But that's not her audience. You guys are her audience. So I'm here to tell you, I wouldn't have made it 24 years in the Army without my wife. Simple as that. She's been my backbone, my support system, my home front sergeant major. Uh, when I come home to vent about situations that's going on in the Army, whether it's with a soldier, whether it's with a, a, you know, a, a, a superior, um, I always talk to her and I get her feedback, guidance, love, and support with every situation. So here's to you, baby. I love you. You are my ride or die. You the real MVP behind this operation. And like they say, um, behind every great man, there's a successful great woman. You are my woman. So this is to Stephanie uh, S. Long. Um, I love you. Um, and, and don't ever, ever think that I don't, I don't cherish or, or respect um, you as a person, as an individual as a wife, mother, lover, whatever the case may be. Um, I apologize for that situation happening. Um, I know next time, if I do get in front of an audience, I know next time I got to give shout outs to my baby. That's my bad. But I'm giving a shout out right now to the world. Stephanie Long is the shit. I'm telling you right now. That's my wife. She the shit. All right. Eclectnista, um, you know, uh, it, it, she's got all titles. She does it all. Okay, she can cook. She can. She. She's. You already know she's a stylist. She. She's a photographer. She's got her own brand going. I support her all the way to the end. My time is done. The next chapter in our lives, I'm gonna dedicate that to her. I'm gonna build up our network and pass along the funding to her so she can get her thing going. And I can sit back and be a silent partner. Love you, baby. Once again, I apologize um, for, for that happening, but I am saying it to the world right now. You are my ride or die. Without you, there will be no me, there will be no Jasmine, there will be no Jada. Your number one fan, James.